Bruce here from the Okinawan Karate School and uh, doing my third lightsaber review from the grab bags from ultrasabers.com. Um, and this is number three, this is the Prophecy V3, uh, $100 retail value, uh, green blade, which I'll turn on in a second here. Um, this is definitely one of my top three uh, that I got, if it wasn't for one thing, which I'll tell you guys in a, in a second here, probably one of my top two, if not my favorite here. Um, but I really like this one, check it out, right? Mid-grade blade, of course. Just a close-up here for you guys. Looking good, looking good. Solid on the end. Uh, so when I first saw this thing, I thought it was the uh, Battle Ready, which I already had for my very first uh, grab bag I got, whatever the, the other one was uh, with the 45-degree uh, cut. But very, very happy it was this one. Uh, this thing is just, like, awesome. I love the, uh, the feel of it, the look of it. It's kind of like, um, not like robotic, but very kind of mechanical, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. Um, but very, very cool. It's got holes up here where it lets the light through. Uh, probably maybe an extra hex key if you wanted to put one. It didn't come with one, so I'm not sure if I'm going to put one in there or not, but it does let light through uh, right there. And then, of course, over here, it's got the uh, protected little cupboard uh, button here. Um, it's got the dremel out parts right here. Uh, really like the grip. Very nice grip. Um, it's got a screw right here, which is cool, a little additional thing. The only thing I don't like on this Sabre, and it was, it was a grab bag, right? So it's understandable. It's cool, no big deal. But uh, it has this little nick in it here, or this little... Um, uh, crack or whatever you want to call it, right? So you can call it battle damage, I guess. It's, it's pretty neat, you know, add some character. But if it weren't for that, it'd probably be my favorite or uh, definitely top two uh, lightsaber solid on the bottom. You want to add a uh, open one if you're going to add sound to it or anything. This is just a stunt saber, no sound on this one. Uh, it's got two spots to grip for uh, spins and flips and everything like that. You can easily hold it two handed, no big deal there, uh, even if you got pretty big hands. Um, I'd say it's about a foot long, maybe a little bit under that. A little rainbowy kind of almost finish here going on. Pretty sweet. Um, so again, we're going to turn it on here. Green blade, you can see the holes right there, very nice, right? Kind of almost looks like buttons or something like that. Uh, very easy to spin, very lightweight. Um, the balance on it is a little bit blade heavy, but if you move it to kind of where the top normally would be, if it didn't have that slit, it's not bad, right? So nothing wrong with it. Very cool. Overall, really like this saber. Check out ultrasabers.com for the Prophecy V3, guys. See ya.